Okay, let's so we'll recap, Manur, first, what we learned up to now. Can you hear me? Yes, yes Manur, what we learned up to now? Uh, the last session. Yes. Uh, we discussed the issues of, uh, like, what are the issues we are facing uh, in the society, like uh, the globalization, responsibilities we have, or the C uh, CSR. Yes, what does the CSR stand for? Um, uh, it stands for Corporate Social Responsibility. Yes, we discussed the Corporate Social Responsibility and uh, what is meant by corporate social responsibility? Uh, the responsibility we have towards uh, like uh, uh, the our society. Okay. Corporate social responsibility. What is meant by? Okay, we discuss about CSR, what is meant, uh, sorry, we discuss about corporate governance. What is meant by governance? Uh, the uh, government. Corporate governance. Where we, you know, maybe you remember, like we discuss about how the company can structure uh, executive committee in our organization that will help you know to run the organization effectively so mm -hmm. governance mean you know operate organization structure change of command we discussed during one of lesson so we discuss corporate governance and certain reports and various other you know corporate governance and we discuss about Enron scandal as well due to the poor corporate governance. We discuss about the professional ethics, five professional ethics, integrity, professional competency, due care. We discuss about professional behavior we need to keep in a profession. We discuss about objectivity, not compromise our objective, whatever, you know, conflict of interest we discuss as well. And uh, we quoted different sort of examples. Um, we discuss about employment law, some legislation. We discuss about a discrimination act as well. And uh, we we discuss uh, ethics, uh, deontological, uh, and different other theories as well. We discuss about Kohlsberg uh, theories. So all these things, you know, we discussed during previous lesson and we discuss about stakeholders and uh, their interests which further we'll go through. So up to now we have covered LO1 where we discuss about ethical perspective and these are different theories we discussed during our lessons and we discuss ethics mean is a moral, the way we do the business, moral operating activities we discuss what is meant by and how corporate governance we discuss about fair trade compliance legal and regulatory compliance in different legislation we discuss about EU legislation and various other second LO we discuss about corporate governance corporate social responsibility as an organization we should be socially responsible I quoted you example of social accounting. If we move all the call center, all the businesses abroad, we get the cheaper goods. But what will be happen on the effect on the society? Society will lose the jobs, people will suffer. So all these sort of the things we discussed during our previous lesson. We discuss about stakeholder. What is meant by stakeholders? The one who are interested in the, the our business, our company. We can be customers. Well done. So we discuss about the stakeholders and um, we discuss about different models that are powered interests and uh, distance direct in direct stakeholders. So for that today RLO as well is, uh, is a discussion will be on the stakeholder again. Adopting business behavior, ethical behavior. We discuss about the business need to be 
treat other people equally a uh, business need to be the definition of organization we discuss about the artificial person and they have to treat other person equally as well we discuss about some relevant legislation code of practice uk laws eu laws uh, uk declaration on human rights we discuss the un a uh, global compact e economic activity and location so so we discuss different sort of legislation and legislation on tariff legislation on child labor legislation on equal pay we discuss about um, consumer good acts all these set sort of the legislation we discuss and those we need to be look around and those are quite crucial to be run our business and is a part of our ethics as well so then we discuss about issue corporate responsibility we discuss about triple bottom line concept we discuss about how we can in our organization can add the values in our organization we need to be balance social responsibility economic responsibility uh, within our organization globalization we discuss you know the uh, companies are moving around and world became a global village we discuss about recent you know trade war between um uh the united states and especially with china and even with the eu countries as well during our last lesson we discuss about whistle blow so what is meant by whistle blow uh, it's like <clears throat> if you see anything wrong in the company you go and tell the uh, higher authorities like the government if they are doing anything illegal <clears throat> all right yes well then we discussed during our last lesson whistle blow is um, and then we discuss about contribution to business as a community so it's a business responsibility like we discuss about food bank of unilever and various other company they have part of you know ethical moral they are doing and they are producing a put on corporate social responsibility how they reducing co2 how they put pain and we discuss about intellectual property rights they have how they can protect it and other companies intellectual property right as well software privacy policies we discuss counterfeit goods you know how copyrights and things as well file sharing so all these were our discussion were in various during our previous lessons and today we are moving uh, towards our last learning outcome which is quite linked with the 2 and 4 learning outcome 2 and 4 is quite quite similar few things you know new what are two things are new so we'll quick you know discuss and then we'll move it x you know it's good to be when you do your assignment look around and add you know some examples so i already get some case studies i have included so please read them as well so today we'll go through the stakeholder expectation factor that influence the stakeholder perspective corporate governance ownership versus management governance a uh, chain typical reporting structure within a organization stakeholder of large organization conflict of expectations stakeholder mapping power interest matrix power dynamic uh, business ethics a uh, corporate social responsibility type of ethical stance internal and external analysis of csr public interest disclosure act so which will be focused today our discussion a lot public interest disclosure act any question no question okay so let's will start our lesson today so welcome everyone let's will start our lesson today please those are just leave if you have any question just drop me email i will get back to you and please try to carry on working towards your assignment so today we are have a learning outcome which we supposed to and uh, our aims of today lesson in production to stakeholder and their expectations we'll discuss about corporate social responsibility and whistle blow and we'll discuss public interest disclosure act 1998 we have a data protection act as well we learn about where we need to keep our data secure of clients which is our corporate social responsibility our business ethics as well morally and they uh, will go through today whistle blow which you already know stakeholders so a bit you know recap on which you already learned stakeholders are the group are the individual with the interest in a business 
stakeholder may affect or to be affected by the decision of an organization implies stakeholders include uh, owners, shareholders, so owner have an interest to be earn more profit, employees want more salary, customer want cheaper goods, and local community want uh, the company's help or contribute toward the social or the local community's interest and desire. So there is a there are a lot of conflict here when we looking. Uh, owner they want to be maximize the profit employees want to be higher salary so higher salary when we will pay to them it mean we are getting less profit so we need to be balanced the conflict in start and we need to be everyone take different stakeholder have a different interest so we can divide the stakeholder into internal stakeholder internal stakeholder are those considered to be part of an organization the main internal stakeholder are shareholder and employees. Then shareholder are owner of the business of a business own get involved in day to day running of the business, having a right to vote in the company AGM. AG, what is the AGM stand for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A meeting. Yes, annual general meeting AGM. Shareholders select the are recruit are uh, basically the select you know through voting right directors, and then the di director of the company or the CEO of the company they just you know run the business and they make the plan. They are uh, steward of um, the shareholder. Basically, they working and they have to work in the best interest of the shareholder as well as the stakeholders. Receive a share of profit. This is called the dividend. So they receiving the return on their investment. So we call is a dividend. The dividend is mean the return on their investment. Okay, each stakeholders group will have own expectation. So shareholders <clears throat> likely have an interest in increased profit, enhanced dividends through such as things, growth, enhanced reputation, and greater efficiency. What is meant by efficiency? Yes, Manur, what is meant by efficiency? Mm -hmm. Efficiency. Mm -hmm. It's something like to do, achieve something, the ability or something. Yes, so when we are looking efficiency, so we are looking less cost. Output, yes, and good quality and use less time. We're looking the efficiencies, yes, somebody is costing us less, giving us more food, quality of the goods is less, and they're using time less as well. So we can look around the efficiency in terms of all these. And efficiency is quite crucial to me is for the sustainability of the organization. The business will stay longer in business. So efficiency is always we need to look around. So employees are paid by the business to carry out given role are one of the company most important asset. Employees can be called asset. Asset means that we own it. It has economic value and help a business to achieve its objective mean end result what really as a business we want to be we want to maximize the profit we want to serve the local community we have different sort of the business objective so to change a uh, need a range of skills relevant to the, their job roles so teamwork problem solving as the employees we require different sort of the skills to be achieved the organization objective employees are likely expect fair wage Fair wage, the wage, you know, which is uh, if one thing is the national minimum wage. We have seven pound fifty an hour in the UK, and when you said there's a fair wage, you know, the people get the fair wage, like you know, not difference between if we have a same role, equal pay is supposed to be decent working condition. Yes, yeah? they have to be get the break. Working environment is not a pollution level. 
post to get the safety uh, health and safety shoes gloves and those sort of things you know job security access to the training for additional qualification so if they want to improve themselves you know they have opportunity to improve and the organization need to help them so this is all their expectation so their expectation can be influenced to other companies so all these we need to look around in addition the usual employees interest managers may be expected to able to make their own decision and opportunity and promotions any question <clears throat> Okay, so external stakeholder, the outside and organization, the main external holder, customer, government, suppliers, and local community. Customer are likely to expect such thing, a product range that meet their needs, value for money, good quality goods and uh, customer service, ready supply and services, and possible ecological sound and sustainable products. <clears throat> customer quite keen today the company should contribute towards the environment and produce the good those are corporate socially responsible and the government has an interest in the business because it receive a tax from the business implies income and the customer purchases businesses provide the jobs their employment level and the benefit payments are affected the economy depend on the, on the operation of the business and it has a range of legislation regulation that business must comply with supplier may provide a range of services to businesses as well as the um till you finish good supplier may be expect to be paid in a timely fashion yes they want to be get the payment quicker in a timely fashion and receive regular orders local community may have expectation about the company regarding the availability of the job level of pollution congestion port provided so all this we can look around under the stakeholder and their expectation we learn under lesson 2 their different model power and distance so different stakeholder have a different power they have a different interest you know so please those you can mod those model you can use in your assignment as well any question manu no so please when you do this uh, lo4 as well so i already included the balance stakeholder need and we have all these models as well which are essential so please go through these as well so those are the part of uh, we discuss about stakeholder we discuss all the legislation we discuss corporate social responsibility and we discuss about stakeholders as well any question mm -hmm. i guess even you can find lot of things about the stakeholder lesson 3 as well we, i because of course is the link with the other learning outcome as well yes we discuss about cultures different stakeholders so we can look around already discussed so please in your assignment try to link okay, so today we are doing lesson 4 so we'll focus on the 4 any question okay so please go through these stakeholder and their interest next we idea we are looking a bit recap as well professional ethics ethics are the concern with what is the right or morally correct business ethics is concerned with the conduct principles pattern of behavior in our business dealing what is involved doing the right thing so when we are looking the ethical behavior ethical behavior include not using the child labor not testing on animals respecting the human right of workers ensuring working hours are not excessive keeping pollution to the minimum problem with the ethics what is considered to be acceptable for one person may be considered morally wrong to, for another person yes so it varies because ethics is different people have a different ethics and their interpretation can be different 
maybe in some country people don't have a food and the child labor is ethically they think you know is fine for them but uh, overall is everybody have animal testing uh, maybe people those are in, involved in medicine and testing and research they may be thinking is the right because they we can save the human life from it but the lot of you know the pressure group and thinking is wrong because like animal is uh, is like a human as well so we need to be look around and we have to put, uh, protect their interest as well not the just human being interest okay ethical behavior in practice where it's a case study which i'll send you i up i'm going to upload as well primax primax is a company which is deal with the clothing is chain in the uk so what they are doing so corporate social responsibility is concerned with the responsibility of the firm all the stakeholders including local, local local community wider society and so benefit of ethical behavior improve the reputation and confidence of organization less chance of unfavor media coverage increase ability to attract more customer workers and investors increase implies motivation and can be used unique selling points as well because we are ethically morally how does the prime mark socially responsibility approach cost of ethical higher labor operation of material cost the cost of training ethical auditing turning away the business from the firm that are the consider to be unethical so those businesses not doing practices are not following and they are not offering fair wage so we can cancel our contract with those firm like it has happened in the uk they recruit illegal workers those don't have a right to work in the uk in the past and been fined to prime marks is around 20 million pound so that's unethical so the cost of ethical behavior what are the prime marks behaving ethical manner so firm may be behave in ethical manner or two main reason to reflect the ethical view then the value of the firm in its direction the public relation exercise to improve the reputation link to resources ethical lessons suggestion and activities prime marks case study which i'm going to journal okay any question mm -hmm. so please when when you do your assignment i have included the which i'll upload the case case study so please go through this case study is quite good is cover all our lo4 and is a lot of good discussion rapidly chain in the media providing customer with the ethical source of government a primax case study how they are doing and how they are making sure they do the business what is the business ethics value of primax ethical supply economic economies of scale ethical in practices code of conduct Uh, working with suppliers auditing and compliance ethical approach sustainability cost of behavior uh behavior which can be or have a correct behavior towards then not following transparency in the business and then conclusion so please go through these and read this case study that will help you and to do a better understanding as well okay next we looking today is uh, our big element of lo4 which is we need to go through general aims of pida is called public interest disclosure act 1998 what this act is about this act was the responsible to the public exposure of the dis disasters and the mall practices mall practice is doing the wrong thing yes cheating people not providing good information so it provides a comprehensive legal protection for the whistle blower the person who uh say that is a wrong thing happening in the organization to provide the protection protection from the victimization yes the people from abroad getting the less salary they are victimized of their ethnicity their color their 
So encourage the collaboration and openness in the organization and imply to provide the constructive framework for interest disclosure. So they really tell the public true thing. Okay, so whistleblow, this is when someone speak out regarding the concern of the reasonable belief should be public interest or the domain. Okay, these are some example of public interest what's happened. So a lot of, you know, EU cleared the whistleblow who export the Brussels fraud is a happening. The whistle was loaned, but the Enron never heard it. When Enron, one of the biggest American company was bankrupt, and the whistleblower said is a fraud is happening, this and that, and me management not listen it and ultimately leads to the closure of the business. Maxwell had transferred 400 million without the authority. So fraud office inquiry into the pension fund. So pension fund being transferred, that's the people money, that's the worker money. I had had to blow the whistle hard unit, which we need to ferry firm, admit the door were open and the so all these things is a whistle was blown, but not Olympic whistleblower. Like, you know, people taking breath and that chief stopped from the speaking on the patient safety. Whistleblow, uh, Edward Norden, whistleblow, not a spy. Yes. Pilot over the channel for dispatches. Program the whistleblow. What is happening? Undercover boss to discover what is wrong and right when somebody whistleblow. Okay, so whistleblow raising the concern about the wrongdoing, malpractice, someone authority either internally or externally regarding media, public concern at work is independent charity. Founded in, they are providing different, different charity, they provide different information. So they have a helpline, they may at the risk, so a lot of people can do the complaint and they provide, and how many thousand people they whistle blow during different periods. So you will see there how many people during. Twenty 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 eleven and all public sector, private sector, unknown and total. How many people whistle blow? Breakdown types of wrongdoing thing happen like you know the financial malpractices, people being cheated and different interest rate being charged, work safety being ignored, public safety was in, ignored, patient safety was ignored, abuse, so discrimination, environmental, ethical and other all these are the malpractices during happen so evidence of whistle blow so yes is internally keep quiet or go outside you need to look around the whistle blow inside stories how many workers they are doing all these are the facts and figures those you can use in our assignment as well any question Anu? no, no. Okay, so these are all the lot of, you know, the, from the news. Disclosure Act, what is about, as further been explained, promote and protect open whistleblower. Try disclosure regime with emphasis internal whistleblow regulatory oversight and recognize the wider accountability of the people who do not follow the legislation. So these are all disclosure of the employer, disclosure, regulatory and public disclosure information should be on the public domain. Yes, so all CSR and all these corporate governance reports should be disclosure. This is all about the act and grievances procedure need to be organization. How this will help to protect the interest implies confidence level need to be improve their representation need to be attitudes to whistleblow 
from individual other organization and wider society law and policies is it adequate and effective regulatory should they be doing more reward how can whistle blow be incentive and tribunal yes so tribunal can get the evidence for from so please this is the quiz to enhance your understanding about stakeholders so what you can do please you can copy this link and you can do a bit you know play the with the quiz any question okay manu let's will discuss about the assignment if you have any question so ask me so we finish we finish all our learning outcome so let's will will check you know assignment brief what is about and how we can tackle the question it's about some computer a limited company computer and supply yes well done so that's about the assignment task 1 of 3 presentation you have you have to provide the showing different approaches of business ethics where we learn about business ethics approaches yes in lesson 1 i already uploaded two documents so you can prepare the powerpoint slide separate or you can make the slide take the screen print and you can copy into the world file if you want to you can provide illustration showing the different approaches of business you should then provide the example of ethical issues could be affect the operation and absolute and relative ethics which we discuss already in our first lesson create mind map yes you can find the mind map or you can create the mind map where you can put the all the stakeholders implication of the stakeholders operating ethically and potential conflict between the stakeholders conflict can be employees want higher salary employer want uh to pay less salaries and shareholder want so you can find or you can create your own yes so it's just like we first create the mind map of stakeholders and then the uh, conflict we discuss it separately in the paragraph yes basically is a mind map where you can just you know add it you know the bullet points and then presentation 10 minutes so we can record and you can present any question um no the second the second task it's a case study okay task 2 provide a case study of an organization that has implemented the corporate social responsibility you review describe so i'll send you case study or if you want to find you can find i already uploaded some or uh, with document which i already uploaded there are any case studies on corporate governance corporate social responsibility you can pick it and you can use it for the organization yes or you can choose any organization of your choice okay so like we have to choose an organization organization not this organization they have mentioned in the in the video and uh, now you can choose other organization because according to otherwise they will say according to the scenario because here scenario is working corporate social responsibility nobody is serious strip down gold 10 year old okay uh you can contextualize your discussion with the but we don't have a full information about you can add this one as well but you can quote one more example that's really good yes we have a scenario is a bit discussion about there is no harm if you want to cross reference you can or you can include other case you know full case study okay where you can find the website is called business case study dot co dot uk and you can find all the corporate if you look under the teaching resource or itself i will send you some as well 
So from that, I can uh, pick and I, I can write on it. Yes, you can find your know, case study. If you look here, business ethic, corporate social responsibility, when we'll click there, and you will find all the companies, you know, and their cases. Yes? Any question? So this uh, this uh, uh, for 500 around words, right? Yes, 500 around words. Okay, and then the task three, it's like based on the scenario, we have to write the report. So like we use this, uh, the scenario we are given, we write according to that three report. Yes, that's fine. You can add the scenario. You can write about the case as well. Yes. Description changes in the organization and why and review the impact of SR and supply chain. And analyze. Mm -hmm. I, I will send you as well, you know, the cases separately. Yeah, okay. I was talking about the third task. It says that based on the scenario. Okay, task three. Mm -hmm. I guess based on the scenario, write a report and so just the employee. So this one is a purely based on the scenario, which is a scenario given. So we search a current ethical issues in an organization. What are the issues by keeping in view of the scenario? Describe how the business objective can be affected so you can describe your own viewpoint. You can add a um, ethical consideration even you can use the theories if you want to recommend it and i already put you know some lot of stuff on the moodle as well i'm going to upload few things more when you do and that will help you as well to address it report how the business can improve of course you know maybe we can suggest it uh yes clearly our more linkage more network uh, are involving uh, different stakeholders in when making the are uh, making any plan or decision and recommend the change of the CSR policy benefit of different stakeholders. If they change, you know, they will pay a quick pay to the supplier. They will try to be help local community 2%. They used to be 1% pay from their profit. So they are now thinking, okay, they will contribute 2% towards the local community health or the local project. So these are all these things, you know, can be discussed. And that is a learning outcome three, sorry, task three, 3.3, .3, that will cover your 2.1, 2.3, 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3 under this task. Any question, Manu? Mm -hmm. You can start, you can send me, okay? I'll give you feedback. I'll upload some resources, extra resources for you as well. But if you go through those, you know, two resources, or if you want to be fine, lot of stuff on CSR case studies. So please just go, just write ACCA Global and uh, write the, your topic, yes? CSR. And you will find lot of CSR, lot of reports. There are lot of exam paper, which is lot of scenario being discussed as well. You will see there. And you can even read it little bit, yes. And you can put the reference as well. Yes, you will see there. What is the CSR? CSR strategies, which is organization can make and how the banks lot of examples there so if you go back or you type csr and you just write csr and kaplan kaplan is a publisher and you can find all the topics when you click there and then you can please you can read and you can use you know the reference as well you will see this Yes. Even you can use some pictures if you want to. Yes, screen print. Yes, corporate financial responsibility, corporate. And there are a lot of examples as well. You will see here Marks and Spencer, CSR. Uh, British Airways, CSR. 
a balance score card, triple bottom line, all these you know approaches towards CSR. So you can by using this you can cover as well you know learning outcome you can address R type tutor to you website and you will see here if you go this website like you will see business ethics and a lot of discussion about business ethics and those you know Yes, so a lot of things you can pick from these slides. So what is meant by an effective way the customer to respond unethical actions. A firm by cutting the firm, leaving the market and praising the firm or buying more from the firm. So this is used as well. So you can read a lot. Stakeholders. So, ethical practices. Where ethics are tested. Yes. So we can test the ethics are the company is ethically performing better or not. Any question? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of videos as well to use if you want to. You can watch them. What is meant by ethics? Stop it. Uh, this okay, so is also uh, the timer is also skipped, so I can use that in the assignment. Sorry. Skymark is also about a case study, right? So I yes, can set up the assignment. Yes, you can use as a case study if you want to use the Primark. Mm -hmm. You can use the ethical issues within a Primark. There you can find a lot of things, you know, about Primark. What you can do if you go on their website, yes, download their financial reports, it's called Enver Report. And within that, there is a report called Corporate Social Responsibility Report. Like if I'll show you here, Primax. Primax uh, CSR reports. You will find scandals as well, Primax. And if you click here, sorry. So you can find the reports as well. You will see there they already included the figures as well. Reporting our performance. CSR as subsidiary of British food retailer Primark's ethical trade is environmentally sustainability. Work is report on the yes. So you can find all sort of information. You will see their stakeholder responses. Yes, and you can download, you can read as well. And you can reference, you know. Any question? No. Okay, we'll keep up to here. So please, if you have any question or you think you know, need to be clarify the thing, so please ask me or just drop me email. I will. So today we finish this unit.
and tomorrow which unit will be in fix by common so so what i'll do i'll send you and we'll do lesson tomorrow we have a lesson So today we are doing No, we can do tomorrow if you want I think so it's not been booked any lesson tomorrow Because we finished today and Can Next week no you don't have anything with me what I'll do, I'll book you in a lesson for you tomorrow, okay? okay. So I'll book you in a business law. We can go through business law and uh, I'll book on Monday your assignments, okay? okay. So business law uh, L04, right? Yes, business law L04. So we'll go through L04 business law. Okay. And then, of course, you know, we'll finish business law. And a bit recap, you know, an assignment brief as well. Any question? Then we'll do Monday as well. Huh? Okay, thank you. Okay, Manu, have a nice time. So please, if any question, do not hesitate. Just drop me email. I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll speak to you tomorrow then. Huh? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye, good office. Yeah.